Hey, they jump here. Oh, easy, Lo Yao. Huh? I see how hung long. <laughs> <laughs> Kill assholes like you. Goodbye, shitty prison cell. It's been a real slice of life. Something has happened in waters. They must not leave the facility. Permission to use firearms has been granted. Repeat. Two test subjects have escaped from their quarters. They must not leave the facility. Permission to use firearms has been granted.
Where are we? China. Obviously, but where? Why? Don't know, don't care. There's no I'm done being their guinea pig. What did they do to you? <laughs> Plenty. They said something about using my antibody to enhance the C-virus. Oh no. What else did they say? You know anything about an Albert Wesker? What? Take that as a yes. We talked about him. A lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused his gift. Took it for granted. And then ended up turning himself into some kind of monster. You know, I thought Daryl Dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, no, no. He was actually a freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? That nothing of who my father was didn't somehow get passed on down to me? You of all people should know that's true. I'm just saying. The man that I am, the things that I've done, at least it all makes a little bit more sense now. What? You can blame your father all you want, but at some point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions.